Okay, uh, welcome back to uh, Drink Reviews with Law 86 and Law 86. Uh, we're Law 86. I think we are. We're Law 86. Now, uh, yeah. Ben and Ben and Matt. Um, I am a level 36. Oh, we decided on classes. I'm a level 36 competitive drinker. social drink. Uh, so, basically meaning that your powers are... Mm -hmm. to, to drink with people. I'll you know, just do however much I need to to make a good impression. Alcohol is a great lubricant for me. I uh, will uh, address people in competition and if I win I can gain their powers. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, today we have uh, Bo Lo Pi. We had some, some cocky little uh, fellows <laughs> on YouTube telling us that we probably didn't know what this was and we should drink this. Because instead of we the previously thing. reviewed the really bad knockoff version of this. I mean, this, is, this doesn't even have alcohol in it, that's why we didn't review it. But we're going to do it anyway because you guys are so intent on us drinking this stuff. So I've had it a hundred thousand times and it's delicious. It tastes really good, but there's no, no alcohol. And a little tip for you guys out there trying to lose weight, there's only about 30 calories in one can of this. Ah, Cheers, come big. Come big. Look at that, you're all, you like bubblegum. Mm. Mm. Don't drink that too fast. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's nice, nice, yeah. Nice, nice. It's not very pineapple-y, mostly bubblegum. Tastes like bubblegum. Yeah. A little bit misleading. I think it's like uh, one of those cheap sodas, like one of the, the mm. first sodas that came out in China that all tastes like bubblegum. I think that's just what it is, and they called it pineapple. Mm. That's okay. Why not? It's really good. Uh, also, the price, 15 cents. 15 yeah, cents US, one yuan. One yuan. Yes. You probably buy it in bulk for maybe eight mile. Yeah. Next, we have uh, two competitors. This is the main events. Mm. These two guys are the main events. We have this, which is our Beijing Argua Tojio. Arguato is a, a grass-based, sorghum-based uh, alcohol, um, and this has got to be one of the worst. It's only 150 milliliters and it's 9 yuan, so it's about $1.20. Mm -hmm. The thing about this is it's very small, and you're paying for the extra cup it comes with and the beautiful bottle it comes in. Mm -hmm. What do we have over here? We have uh, also Arguato Joe. Uh, this is Beijing Arguato Joe. They're called exactly the same thing. But this one is different because this is more of a budget approach. So this was about uh, five and a half yuan, which is about 80 cents, for 500 milliliters of 50% alcohol. And uh, doing some quick math, we actually found out that for the, you know, the LD50, the, the dose at which you know, there is a coin flip chance you will die uh, for drinking these guys, uh, for Matt here, it would be about uh, three bottles. So here's so, my stats. Level 36 competitive yeah. drinker, three bottles of this. Done. 1.3 yeah. liters of the cell phone, I'm done in one sitting. Yeah, you would have to chug it in one sitting, but there is a 50% chance that Matt would die from that. Uh, because I'm a smaller guy, uh, we found out my LP50 was a little bit lower, uh, about 900 milliliters uh, of this here, uh, Beijing Argua Tojo. Uh, so that's not bad, that's about two of these little containers here. So. It's right. an extremely cheap way to kill yourself. Yeah, you kill thing. yourself, man. Anyway, let's not, yeah. let's not drag this out. We're going to start off with this stuff. Let's pour it in the cup it came with. And what do you say? I do one, you do one? Yeah. That's all right. right. Okay. All right. Cheers. So. Level 86. Uh, Beijing Arguato Opera Man style. I'll call it Opera Man style Beijing mm -hmm. Arguato. Here we go. Come back. Yeah. Now, this is the part where I have to make it clear that I hate Arguato. So I'm, I'm doing this for you guys, for you viewers. And this is... This is really, it's going to be bad. I have this huge pet peeve for people that overreact about stuff. It's coming back up. <sighs> yeah. So the problem with Arguato is it tastes overpoweringly like grass. Because that's essentially it's what it is. It's sorghum, <sighs> uh, distilled from sorghum. So it's not sweet at all. Uh, it has none of the sort of smooth, absent flavor that you get from a potato vodka <sighs> or something. Uh, it just tastes overpoweringly like grass. Oh, that and, uh, bad, dude. Yeah, it's the, the swill of choice uh, around Beijing. And uh, I hate Arguato. I hate it a lot. Oh. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be really, this is gonna be bad for me. I took a whiff of this guy earlier and about laid me out. So, cheers, come on, babe.
I give that one like that's that's as grassy as it gets. I give that one. Um, oh, I give that one six Chinese middle fingers. Wow. And I give that a two out of ten. I give that a zero point five out of ten. Uh, don't drink that. It's terrible. Um, and I'm actually gonna give that eight Chinese middle fingers. <laughs> that that is among the worst alcohol I've ever had in China. I can think of one alcohol that I had my first weekend in Beijing. Uh, that one was a little bit cheaper. Uh, this was nine yuan. We got one that was uh, 500 milliliters for uh, seven yuan. Uh, so it was about three times as much for a little bit less, about 20 percent less. Uh, B and that was that was the most horrific thing ever. That's what alcoholic street cleaners in Beijing drink. Don't do it. Terrible. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go for this. I've already poured it out here. Mm -hmm. uh, Beijing Arguato again, same brand but from a different mm -hmm. area of Beijing, just a different little district. Mm -hmm. This is the cheapest baijiu we could find, mm -hmm. uh, pound for pound. So if you guys are looking for a cheap way to get drunk, here we go. Yeah. Let's go in for the nose here. Mm -hmm. It's different. You know, it's, this is actually ridiculous because our guato should smell like grass. This has no grass smell. Yeah, I think it's just basically rubbing alcohol. I think it's probably just rubbing alcohol. Mm. Uh, so we could go blind. Um, we'll see what happens. Possible. Yeah. I'm still like burning from this one. Yeah. Oh, we got a man up here. That's his heart burning a bottle. All right. We got a man up here. Okay. I mean, it's going to be hard to ganbei an entire glass of this. I'm going to yeah. try. Yeah. Maybe I'll go in for two sips. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best, guys. I don't want to. This might be a two sip situation. Don't want to limp out here. All right. Fifty percent alcohol, both of these, by the way. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, it's terrible. See, I think that's way better than that. Oh, oh it's so bad though. Oh. <laughs> oh, a second to breathe here. Woo. Um, yeah, uh, I, sorry, we need to make commentary. Oh, I'm actually, I'm crying. It's hard to think of things to say because that was so terrible. Actually, honestly, I think that's a lot better than this one. It is, but, but there was, there was, there was more of it and it had room to breathe. <laughs> and it's, oh, that's so, that's very, there's a little bit of, like, grass flavoring in there. Um, but I think it's mostly, like, sort of that industrial alcohol, this kind of, like, runoff from... Like maybe like a like a pleather factory or something. I think they just bottle uh, what comes out of the pipes at pleather factories. That's it's horrific. It's got this weird look at look at it like from the from the side here. It's got this oily sheen on top. The way that you get that kind of rainbow crap on top of like you know an oily mud puddle or something. Um, the the nose is just sort of poisonous. It's hard to, to really force yourself to get in there and, and nose anything, but it, it tastes like poison. Uh, it's, um, it is, it's highly portable. So, <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you removed this label, uh, it, you could probably, as long as no one smelled you uh, in public, it, you could, <laughs> it looked like you're just drinking water. Yeah. Can't wait to get over it. As a level 36 drinker, I mean, I have to say that this is a tough one to get down, but I, I got to do it. All right, let's go in here. Let's polish these off. Ah, yeah! Oh, it's awful. When when you take a big gulp of that, your your mouth does that that salivating thing, like you're about to vomit. Oh, this. Then. Oh. Um, can you? But. 